الحمد للہ رب العالمین وسلی وسلم على نبینا محمد وعلى اہلی وصحبہ اجمعین بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم والنازیات غرقا بیدوس ہو ریست ویولنٹلی والناشت نشتا اندوس ہو درو جنٹلی والسابی هاتی سبحا ان بیدوس ہو گلائید سویفتلی فالسابی کاتی سبقا دوس ہو پریس فوارد اس ان ریس فالمدبراتی امرا ان دوس ہو کائر او دی کمانڈ اف اللہ یوم ترجف الرواجفا On the day when the earth is shaken violently by the first trumpet blast. Tatba wa radifa followed by the second trumpet blast. Qulubuni yawma idin wajifa. On that day the hearts will be pounding. Absaruha khashia. And the eyes will be downcast. Ya quuluna inna lamardoduna fil hafira. They say, will we really be restored to our former state? Aida kunna idama nakhira Even when after we have turned into crashing bones Kalu tilka idan kharratun khasira Aynam Then they say Then if that is true We will indeed be losers Fa inna ma hiya zatratun wahida Then it will be It will be but a single blast of the trumpet Fa ida hum bis sahira Then immediately they will be back above ground These odds are sown by the noble angels and their these these odds are sown by the by the noble angels and their deeds, which are indicative of the perfect submission to the command of Allah and the hastening to carry out His commands. It may be that it may be it may be that it it may be that what is tested to its their requital and their resurrection, based on the fact that they are followed by a description of their resurrection. It may be that what is attached to it too and what is sown by by is one and the same. And that Allah swears by the angels because belief in them is one of the six pillars of faith. Moreover, mention of their deeds here refer, refers to the requital of which the angels are in charge at the time of death and before and after death moment. Hence Allah says, by those who rest voluntarily, this refers to the angels who pull out souls forcefully and keep on pulling and the soul has been completely brought forth from the body. The angel will be requited for, for its deeds. And by those who draw, or draw out gently, this also refers to the angels who pull souls out gently. This indicates that the gentle pulling out is for the souls of the believers, and violent wrestling is for the souls of the disbelievers. For, and the violent wrestling is the, for the soul of the disbelievers. And by those who glide swiftly, that is, who move through the air, ascending and descending. Those who press forward as, as, as in a race, hastening to fulfill the command of Allah, and to attract the devils when conveying revelation to the, messenger, to the messengers of Allah, so that the letter will, will not if drops on it. And who, carry the, and, who are, and who carry out the command of Allah? This refers to the angels whom Allah appoints to convey many of the matters of the universe, in both the upper and lower realms, such as rain, vegetation, trees, winds, seas, fetuses, animals, paradise, hell, and so on. Uh, on the day when the earth is shaken violently by the first trumpet blast, which will signal the hour, the onset of the hour, followed by the second trumpet blast. On that day, hearts will be pounding. That is, they will be deeply troubled by the intensity of what they see and hear. And eyes will be will be downcast. That is, humble and brought low, for fear will be seized their am. For fear will have seized their hearts, and they will have sustained by panic and overwhelmed with regret and and sorrow. They, 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 namely, they, namely, the disbelievers in this, in, in this world, say by way of the denial, will, we will, will we really be restored to our former state, even after we have turned into crushing bones, that is, bones that are are worn out and dis disintegrated. They say, then if that is true, we will indeed be losers. That is, they think it, it, it they think, they think it unlikely that Allah will resurrect them and recreate them after they have turned into crumbling bones out of ignorance of Allah's might and showing audacity and disrespect towards him. Allah says, explaining how easy this is for him, it will be but a single blast of the trumpet, whereupon all creatures will be, ab ab will be back above, above ground. That is, on the surface of the earth, standing and looking around, Allah will gather them and judge between them on the basis of his just rule, and he will requite, and, and he will requite them. Hal ataka hadithu Musa? Has there come to you the story of Musa? 
إذ ناداه ربه بالوادي المقدس توا وين يسرد كول تو هيم إن ذا سيكريت فالي أوف توها إذهب إلى فرعون إنه طغى سايينغ جو تو فارو فو هي إز إنديد ترانسجريس أول بونز إذهب إلى فرعون إنه طغى فقول هل لك إلى أن تزكى أن ساي أر يو ويلينغ تو بي بوريفايد وهديك إلى ربك فتخشى أن فو مي تو جايد يو تو يو لورد سو ذات يو مي كام تو فيا هيم فأراه الآية الكبرى Then Musa showed him a great sign. فَكَدَّبَ وَأَسَى Then he turned away and began scheming. ثم أدبر يسعى Then ثم أدبر يسعى لا أيوة فَكَدَّبَ وَأَسَى But Pharaoh denied and disobeyed. ثم أدبر يسعى Then he turned away and began scheming. فَعَشَرَ فَنَادَ He gathered his people and made a proclamation. فَقَالَ أَنْ رَبُكُمُ الْآلَى Saying I'm your Lord most high. فأخذه الله نكال الآخرة والأولى سؤال استيزلم for example punishment in the year after and in this life إن في ذلك الإبرة لمن يخشى very in this there is a lesson for those who fear Allah حينس الله سبحانه وتعالى says to his prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم has there come to the story of Musa this equation about a matter of great significance that definitely happened that is has news come to you of him When his Lord called to him in the secret valley of Tua, Tua is the place where Allah spoke to him, bestowed the message upon him, and chose him for his revelation, and to bring him close to him. And he said to him, Go to Pharaoh, for he has indeed transgressed all bonds. That is, tell him to stop his transgression, polydism, and disobedience, speaking to him gently. So that perhaps he may, he may, he may, he may, he may, he may pay, he may pay heed or fear Allah. And say to him, Are you willing to be purified? That is, are, are, are you willing to attain some praiseworthy and good characteristics which people of understanding compete to attain? Which means purifying yourself from the field of disbelief and transgression and attaining faith and doing righteous deeds. And for me to guide you to your Lord, that is, show you the way to him and explain to you how you may attain his pleasure and avoid his wrath. So that, so that, you, may come to, so that you may come to fear him. When you come to know the straight path, but Pharaoh rejected that to the, that to which Musa called him. Then Musa showed him a great sign. This does not refer to one sign in particular, because there were many signs. So Musa drew, drew, drew down his staff, and suddenly it was a serpent, plain for all to see. And he drew for the sun, and it appeared shining white to all beholder. But Pharaoh denied it, that is, the truth, and disobeyed the command. Then he turned away and began scheming, that is, striving to oppose and fight the truth. He gathered his people and made a proclamation, saying to them, I'm your Lord Most High. So they submitted to him and affirmed his falsehood when he made fools of them. So Allah sees them for an example of punishment in the hereafter and in this life. That is, his punishment become a sign and the third the remainder of punishment in this world and the hereafter. But in this, there is a lesson for those who fear Allah. For the one who fears Allah, is the one who will benefit from signs and lessons. When he sees the punishment of Pharaoh, Inam, he will realize that, that whoever is arrogant and disobeys and opposes the servant most high, he will, he, will, he will punish him in this world and the hereafter. As for the one whose heart is devoid of fear of Allah, no matter what sign comes to him, he will not believe in it. Are you more difficult to create or the heaven he be built? وَرَفَعَ سَمْكَهَا فَسَوَّهَا Raised its height and perfected it. وَأَقَتَشَ لَيْلَهَا وَأَقْرَجَ دُهَاهَا He darkened its night and brought forth its daylight. وَالْأَرْضَ بَادَ لِكَدَهَاهَا And after that he spread out the earth. أَقْرَجَ مِنْهَا مَأَهَا وَمَرْعَاهَا Brought forth from its water and vegetation. وَالْجِبَالَ أَرْسَاهَا And set with the Saint the Mountains family. Umata Allah kwalin amikum as provision for you and your livestock. Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, giving a clear sign to those who disbelieve in the resurrection and think it's unlikely that Allah will create their bodies. Are you, O humans, more difficult to create or the heaven? With its immense size, strong structure, and great height, Allah built it, raised its height. Its height. That is its size and shape, and perfected it with a dazzling, astounding preparation. 
is dark is e darken its light. So that darkness envelops all part of the heavens, and the face of the earth is of a shadow with darkness, and brought forth its daylight. That is, he made a great light to prevail in it when he when he brings the sun during the day, so that people may go about their business, both religious and worldly. And after that, he spread out the earth. That is, after creating the heaven, he spread it out and deposited it in it, it, it and deposited in it that which is beneficial for man. This is explained in the following two verses: brought forth from it its water and its vegetation, and set the mountains family. That is, he fixed them in the earth. The spreading out of the earth came of the creation of the heavens as the artist in this message. In this passage. The one who created the mighty heavens and all that they contain of light and heavenly bodies and the, and the solid earth and all that it contains of nothing that which benefits people will inevitably read right those, who, those who are accountable. Then he will require them for their deeds. Whoever did good will have the best reward and whoever did evil will let him blame no one but himself. Hence after mentioning the resurrection, Allah mentioned the requito and says, فَإِذَا جَاءَتِ دَعَمَةِ الْكُبْرَى So when the greatest calamity comes. On that day, man will remember all that he did. And the blazing fire will be exposed for all to see. Then, as for the one who transgressed all, all, board, all boards, and preferred the life of this world, the blazing fire will be his abode. But as for, as for the one who feared standing before his Lord, and restrained himself from, from, from basic desires. فَإِنَّ الْجَنَّةَ هِيَ الْمَعْوَىٰ Very place will be his board. That is, when the resurrection comes with a great hardship that will make all other hardship pale into insignificance, at that time a father will show no care for his son, no husband for his wife, nor any love for his beloved. On that day man will remember all that he did in this world both good and bad. And he will wish for an atom's weight more of good deeds, and he will feel regret and sorrow for the addition of even an atom's weight to his bad deeds. At that time, he will realize what will make him win or lose for his efforts in this world, and all on, on all connections and relationships he had in this world will be severed. Nothing will, able, nothing will be able to benefit him except righteous deeds, and the blazing fire will be exposed for all to see. That is, it will be brought into a view and made visible to everyone. It will be made visible to its people, its people, for it has been prepared to ensure them and is waiting for the command of its Lord. Then as for the one who transgressed all bounds, that is, he overstepped the mark by daring to commit major sins, and he did not adhere to the limits set by Allah, and preferred the life of this world to the hereafter. So his efforts were, 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 were for the sake of this world, and this time was spent in trying to accumulate worldly gains and pursue worldly desires. He forgot the hereafter and failed to strive for it. Verily, the blazing fire will be, his, will be his abode. That is, it will be the fate and the final abode of the one who is like this. But as for the one who feared standing before his Lord, that is, he feared being presented before him and being requited on the, be, on the, on the basis of justice, and that fear had an impact on his heart, so he forbid to himself what desires that could cause him to the... <laughs> Because him to drift away from Muslim to Allah, and this single nation fell in line with that which the messengers of Allah Sallam brought, striving against whims and physical desires that divert one from good. Verily, paradise, with all that it contains of goodness, joy, and bliss, will will be his abode. That is, it is the abode of anyone who is like this. Yes, Aluna kanisati ayana mursaha. They ask you about the how when will it arrive? Fima anta min dikraha. How could you possibly know? No, know that. إِلَىٰ رَبِّكَ مُنْتَهَاهَا It's knowledge that rests with your Lord alone. إِنَّمَا أَنْتَ مُنْدِرُ مَنْ يَكْشَاهَا You are but a warner for those who fear it. كَأَنَّهُمْ يَوْمَ يَرَوْنَهَا لَمْ يَلْبَتُوا إِلَّا آشِيَةً أُوْدُهَاهَا On the day they see it, it will be as if they had remained in this world no more than an afternoon of a day or the morning thereof. That is, those who stubbornly deny the resurrection ask you about the hour. When will it happen and when will it arrive? So Allah answered them by saying, How could you possibly know that? For there is no benefit for you or for them in knowing that, and knowing when it will come, because there is no religious or worldly benefit for people in knowing when the how will come. Rather, the benefit is in its being hidden from them, 
knowledge of that has been withheld from all of creation, and Allah has kept that knowledge to himself. Therefore he says, its knowledge rests with your Lord alone, that is, its knowledge is with him alone, as he says elsewhere. They ask you about the hour, when will it come to pass? Say, the knowledge of is, my, is, is, is with my Lord alone, none but he can disclose when its time, when its time will come. It will weigh heavily on the heavens and the earth. It will not come upon you, but suddenly they ask you as if you were well informed of it. Say, the knowledge thereof is with Allah alone, but most people do not realize. You are but a warner for those who fear it. That is, the benefit of your warning is only for those who fear the coming of the hour and who fear the standing before Allah. They are the ones who do not care about anything except preparing for it and striving for it. As for the one who does not believe in it, no attention should be paid to him or to his stubbornness because his stubbornness is based on obstinacy and disbelief. If he has reached such a state, answering his question is pointless and the wise person should, ri should rise above that. This is the end of the commentary on Surah al -Naziyat. All praise and thanks are for Allah and may the blessing and peace of Allah be upon Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his family and his companions abundantly until the day of judgment. Wa